Hey, welcome back to another video. Today we're doing another DIY project. We're rebuilding our Blue Ox Avail tow bar. And let me show you what we've got in terms of materials and tools for this project. Here we have uh, silicone and red spray grease. We have a BX88388 uh, tow bar washer replacement kit. We have the BX88384 tow bar rubber boots kit. And we have the safety tables replacement as we're replacing those as well as part of the project. Now, additionally, we have our disposable paper towels here. And down here we have some box cutters. We've got a uh, vice strips. We have a half inch and three eighths ratchet as well as uh, an impact wrench with an inch and one sixteenth socket and a three quarter socket. And we're ready to start this project here. All right, well, get to it. All right. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is remove these old safety cables, get them out of the way. I will be replacing them at the end of this project. There we go. And see, these are badly need a replacement. There's several that are stuffed and they're starting to rust. We want to make sure that's not a problem. So we're going to uh, tackle those. Now, this project involves removing these two nuts here and these two nuts and assemblies here. We're replacing the washers that are in the pivoted parts, as well as these rubber boots, which you can see right now, or have a little jerry rid uh, duct tape on them to keep them um, the water from getting out the uh, main shafts of the tow bar. Now, we're going to take this out here, and we're going to take this out to here. Now, we're going to get our three quarter inch. I'm going, to, I'm going to remove the triple lugs here. You see they're going to require a little here and here. Oh, no, I'll do it backwards. Here. Okay. There we go. So we'll be reusing the bolt, but we're going to be replacing the uh, locking bolt. So, we're going to uh, situate our bins left to right so we know what goes what. Uh, so here's this side here. Now, just, just slide right off. And see, we've got two washers right here. These are the two washers that we're replacing with the new washers. I guess you recommend putting some cardboard or paper down to keep grease from getting all over the place. Well, especially on a concrete surface, yes, by all means. All right, so this is the triple lug on this side. And make sure that we uh, put it back together the correct way. These things actually spin around, so it doesn't matter which way we put it on, but we want to make sure that Put on in that direction. All right, so we'll put that there, and now we're going to remove the other one on this side. Now we can take off these boots. That'd be the next trick. First, we got to cut the. Uh, zip tie holding this on. All right, and once that's done, should be able to then slide this, well actually, yeah. So basically that black part, the rubber stretch part, just separate it from each end. What we'll probably do in this case is cut this part off. silicone to degrease the 
tow bar, but we'll be greasing it back up when we're done. We just want to get off any old grease, any dirt. And we'll be doing that there, just make it nice and clean. Yeah, silicon and uh, coffee goes real well together. Well, I'm sure it does. Now note that these uh, zip ties are two different sizes. All right, and uh, now let's just clean off the rest of this here. Okay, now we've cleaned this one side, we're gonna start working on the other tow bar arm here. This side wasn't torn nearly as badly as this one was. So how did they get torn? Age. This age, okay. I mean, we've had this thing for nearly five years and three RVs. It's been towing uh, two different vehicles. There's that boot there going in the trash. If you want to show them the trash collection so far. Oh yeah, everybody wants to see trash. So this is us trash talking. Alright, trash talking, yeah. Now we're going to clean up the other part of the tow bar. So folks, we need you to subscribe and, and like these videos. As you see, we put a lot of work into them and time, giving you ideas on maintenance and different RV parts and just various attractions. Now, <laughs> I'm actually using a Blackstone griddle because basically I want to remove some of the pitting, or at least clean up this other one, but a little more than just the paper towels can do. Obviously a little light sandpaper would go a lot better. Just trying to move some of the this little scruff pad helps to clean this up a bit. So, out of curiosity, do you know how long actually a tow bar lasts? Uh, as long as it's only tame, ten years. Just some of this cleaning. Uh, not necessarily recommend it, but it'll do a very good job of removing some of the pitting. And what is that? It's a, it's meant for a blackstone griddle. And it's meant to just remove surface imperfections. And it's just a little light abrasive. But it's meant to Resurface the metal here mm -hmm. a little bit. Put that little corrosion on it. And unfortunately, this is the you can see this is the first boot to rip, and. Uh, why it has a little more corrosion on it than the other one does have, so I'm just trying to get a little bit more life out of this one. All right, moving on. Now we need to disassemble the main arms. This is the left one, and this is the right. Before we take this off, we're gonna take this real quick and clean it. This floor was to lock onto the big nut here. So that way we could 
get our pull on this side and when we uh, when we reassemble this we're not going to use the impact wrench to disassemble I mean to reassemble only for disassembly oh. okay. why is that because we don't want to over torque we don't want to over torque things we just want it to be tight enough to move around and everything and you see here Take out the main bolt right here. And this is still one more to go. But now we're carefully to take the arms off. Taking off the left arm first. And you see there's washers top and bottom there. Like that. So there are a total of four washers. The dough on the nut side, on the bolt side. And these are all very dark and rusty. So there is the right, and here's the left. I'm going to start doing a little cleaning of them. So that's clean there. And the same thing with the actual pivot point here. And there's actually, you see right here, there's actually another washer here, but we can't deal with that in a moment. Anyway, here we have, these are the washers here, now we're going to work on this one here. Alright, so there goes that one. I'm keeping these things in the order in which they came out. Now, this one looks like it has two sets of washers. Maybe it's just one that's just very flat. I'm not really sure yet. Okay, so there's the two washers. Okay, folks, now I'm sitting here in the rain videotaping, so please like and subscribe and make this worth my while. Now, just to put a little silicone lube in this area. Just make sure we got that in there. All right, so now we are ready for reassembly. To gather in our washers and our lug nut. So here is our nut and we're going to take the way this one just actually had two on this side. Always the trick here, right? All right. And this you know the washer over here. over here I know not actually and I'm going to use this and I start with my fly strips over here and my half inch ratchet here make sure we're going in the right direction basically movable but we don't want any foreseeable foreseeable play in this so I'm not quite satisfied with that. Okay that's good enough. See it's movement in there but it's not um, so much that it's going to be loose so we want a little bit of stiffness in there. Now, the next part is assembling the two halves of the tow bar. This one to do it first. All right. And then we have to kind of go Yeah. 
there's obviously then the washers on and then the correct order. And we're dealing with a part that is moving at the same time. So now right about the trick here with this is just to get the part just so I can get this other part on. And that's the real trick there, isn't it? <laughs>
is on just trying to get a nice there we go so here got some grease in there so now that's in place that's where we want to secure the zip tie right around this little collar here We are set here. One side's done. Now, of course, we also need to get the triple lug back on. And that's next. Okay. We're going to put this on right here just to get started. Okay, and then we're going to get the triple lug ready here. <laughs> That's the trick here, is getting <laughs> Nothing you're gonna win, race. Oh, hold on. Here goes the rain. I decide, let's do this on very quick. Okay, come on. Over right here. Always get this thing protected of anything. Yeah, I can't see what happened, but the rain has let loose from the sky. Then it is now rushing to get the other arm on and just keep it protected. All right. All right. Now we have to uh, put on the triple lug on the end. I've already secured and greased the boot here, the new boot, and we're going to start by, we did before, we're going to secure the washer there, and bear it lower just enough to let this in, and then we're going to put the other one in place, right here, and, and there we go. So now, we're ready to, on this side anyway, the other side we do the same, but here we can always get our wrenches ready here. And we secure the lock, the uh, triple lock here. All right, now that we're secure, we're just gonna have to back off one just a little bit. Just enough. Lots want you to be loose, but not to be too loose. That's why they don't have any torque specifications for these, because these washers tend to move over time. Now that's nice and good right there. So that one is now ready to be, uh, you know, this is ready for service now. I'm going to finish the other one over there. Washer and nut. Dent the tailpipe here. Alright. And here. Hmm, I think we're missing something. Actually. I think the uh, washer goes on the inside, not the outside. So, something's not right about that. I know. What the problem is here. Okay. And it's okay. I just What did we do? Well, I did is I put this washer on the inside. It's supposed to go. Ah. 
It slides right in that little groove there. Let's do it here. Yeah. Otherwise, it doesn't give us the right amount of tension, that's all. Okay. That way everything's tightened up, it doesn't wobble. So it's just a little, I didn't realize that just in the rush when it was raining. We, Did it uh, rain? Yeah, we had a quite a little storm there. It didn't last but about 15 minutes, but uh, it poured. Just the tension just so we have a little bit of a dry down here and not a lot that's good enough on that one feel the dry down that one mm -hmm. a little bit more on this one That's it. The project That's it. is now done. Now I'm All ready right. to. So let's take a look see here. Let's take a quick view down. I'm going to dry see. off the tow bar. Just got it totally soaked here. I'm going to move it back up again. Now that we have this here, we can properly take our silicone and we can just re lubricate our little. Washers there, our washers there, and here, get these all lubed up, there we go, those are all ready. Now okay, so in replacing the boots, this rubber part here, we really didn't have to take everything apart, but you wanted to clean everything and take a look at it and inspect it, right? Well. What was necessary certainly was to remove these Correct. The boots. And I've seen other videos where that's what they do, but this is actually a full a full overhaul of the tow bar. Okay. So now the tow bar is the tow bar is ready for some more. Now the thing I still have to do here with this side anyway is I need to I need to uh, cut off these little straps on the straps, okay? Or the on the zip ties. I need to cut off the excess there. Okay. That's all. Without, of course, cutting the rubber boots, that would be bad. And of course, to finish the whole thing off, we have a brand new pair of safety chains. We do. Mm -hmm. Where are they? In the box. Ooh, they're all silvery. Yeah, this is to this is to hook to our receiver down here. Definitely a good thing to inspect because you know occasionally on low spots they will drag on the ground and uh, the plastic or rubber, whatever the material is that goes around the wire does tend to wear. And you certainly don't to you don't want to have weakened uh, cables. Not at all. Or break away. I'm just hitting it off. Get this on. Alright, make sure it's in place. Alright, and now I'll bring this around. And hook here. Now I'll put my breakaway back in place. And okay. I always want you to remember to open the doors to adventure and start all your journeys with the, the RV, RV keys. keys. Have a great day and thanks for watching.